All right, again, John here, Thermal Solutions Heating and Cooling. Today we're working on a rooftop unit. This is York, and uh, not sure how many tons this is. Just getting here. Uh, possibly a, a 12 ton. First thing I noticed here is that it's off, the system's off, and our breaker is tripped. See that? It looks like something is tripping our brake, so we'll go ahead and turn it all the way off. And before we turn it on, we must always do our due diligence of we have to figure out why that tripped so we can just turn it on and expect it to be good. Wires may be touching, something may be grounded. So we need our do our part we need to do our part and figure out why that turned off. A lot of times in just clicking it on it could be dangerous because you may short something out or compressor may even blow up on you. So now the system system is completely off and I'll just check here for for power coming in. That looks like that's our 120 volts coming out here. I'll go ahead and shut that off as well. And we'll check, just double check power for safety. Um, where does power come in? Right there. Looks like we, we are dead. Dead in power. dead here we're gonna be dead all over check out the compressors they look good nothing is loose Sorry for the cough in there. I'm a little under the weather here. And when you're when you're your own boss, if you don't work, you don't get paid. So we have to work as is. Those prongs are good. What I'm doing here is I'm checking any possible reason of why that could have tripped and you know when your wires touching and then it's bare and it's touching just grounding something out that could be a reason wires burn up crispy wire budding in somewhere uh, I don't see any oil residue anywhere see any signs of refrigerant leak that's obvious there I'm checking obvious first right now I'm doing my my due diligence of being observant that's step number one Check filters. Yep. So we know airflow is not an issue. No signs of 
refrigerant leak. However, I'll still check it. So, I need to check all these wires and make sure insulation is, is good on them. Make sure they're not touching metal. So I'll do that now and I and I'll bring the video back up after that. Right now you guys can see there Right now, I'll just check if any of these are grounded anywhere. I'll just put one pong there. Kind of difficult to do with one hand. Okay, let me let me try this out. Now I got one pong there, and I have it set to continuity. Now make sure it's not grounded anywhere. I can just check. Actually, I can just place one here. I'll do it this way. Oh. Ah, I can leave it there. And I can double check. Nope. It's kind of difficult to do with one hand. Okay. Let's see. Okay, see that? We got ground there. And I'll just check each one, make sure it's not hitting the ground. So that one's good. That one's good. That one's good. None of these are hitting ground. I'll double check if. Okay, that one's grounded, that prong is grounded, or that lead, sorry. So none of these are getting ground. We'll check all these. Oh. Okay, so this, this one is hitting ground. Sounds like it. So that may be a reason why you uh, may be tripping. See that? These are all. These all check out. Right there. And this one. Why does that one hit it too? That one as well. Doesn't do it up here. Does it there? Does it here? So these are all right there. And these, those two wires here, they come, let's see where they go to. I'll follow these here. It goes to the compressors here. One is one compressor, this is another compressor. This one, we'll see where that one goes to. I'll follow it. Tuck that little bit and see if I can find it.
looks like this is compressor. Uh, I'm not sure if it's one, compressor one or two. But that's this contactor goes to this compressor. And I'll do another cable just to double check. I'll do the black one here. I'll follow that black cable wire. There it is. That goes to this compressor. This contactor here. So this one, that contactor is this compressor, and this contactor is this compressor. This is compressor number one. It's listed up there. I just seen it. Compressor number one and compressor number two. And I'll mark this for the next guy up here somewhere. Number number one number two. Compressor number two, compressor number one. So it's lo it looks like <coughs> this contactor is hitting ground and it's not supposed to. And that's the reason why, the reason why it, that breaker keeps tripping. So we'll either the coils inside this contractor is bad and this needs to be replaced or that's probably it hey okay, guys so now that we we determine that we have ground here and we're, we're hitting ground you see that? That goes to compressor number two. So now, we'll take this off. We take off the wiring harness with my common to my ground terminal. I'll double check it down here. It no longer, no longer beeps. Here you go, here you go again. It should beep now. So now I'm thinking the worst. If this beeps, we have a bad compressor. There it is. We have what we call a compressor that is shorted to ground. So we have our one lead there, our common lead. Beeps there. And beeps there. Doesn't beep here, but we beep here on on our bottom terminals, which are is our start and our run, start and our run. And we'll check this compressor here, and it doesn't beep. So. That is a problem. That's why our breaker keeps tripping. And actually that's, if you guys remember in the beginning of the video, 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 can't get the word out, out of my mouth, is all, you must always verify what is going on with the system, why it's tripping before you come here and just kick it on, kick her on. Because a lot of times you can, you do that and it can be dangerous. It 
cause a cause damage, even more damage. So you always need to turn it all the, all the way down and properly diagnose why that brake why that breaker has tripped. Our compressor, compressor number one, is shorted to ground. So this is part one of the video. This this is the diagnosis of of this repair, and there will be a part two of the actual repair. Um, so I'll let the customer know. We'll give them a price. We'll try to get a hold of a compressor. But all that work will be in part two. All right, guys, on to the next.